With just a single command, I was able to scan my entire network, find targets to exploit, but also the operating systems that those targets are running in their devices. We were also able to scan for ports that are open in that internet server and the last thing we were able to find all vulnerabilities found on the server all by the help of nmap which is the short form for network mapper network mapper is used by hackers and i'm going to show you exactly how to be a hacker an ethical hacker actually and you can use nmap to scan any internet server and find targets to exploit this video is ethically of course so don't use this without a person's permission or any only do this with your devices at homes and speaking of ethical hacking if you hack the youtube algorithm today just like the video subscribe and let's become real hackers by start hacking the youtube algorithm ethically of course anyways let's go into the video <laughs> Okay, we are back and right now we are going into the computer as you can see right over here i want you to open your terminal really quickly and uh, after your terminal is opened i want you to run one simple command we are going to use ping to ping our internet server i mean if you don't know what's your internet server ip address you can just go over here and open a new terminal then i want you to do one simple thing i want you to write ip then a okay right over here you can see right here this is your internet server ip address i want you to copy this one come back right over here paste it right over here i want you to press enter and as you can see ping is right now pinging that ip address that you just gave it and in order to make it stop you can just type in control c and it will stop right away but actually your internet server has got more than 256 ip addresses you cannot just ping all of them one by one and here's where comes nmap network mapper actually you can do all of this with a single command super fast just seconds and let me show you how you can do this First of all, you need to write nmap, then hyphen s, then you press capital letter P, and after that you write your IP address. And here is my IP address, the internet actually, the internet IP. So when I press enter, it is starting nmap, and uh, as you can see, it is done in 3.08 seconds. Right here, you can see nmap scan report for this one. This is the first host, the host is up, and uh, this one is for the second host, and the host is up, and here is the third host, and the host is up. In this internet server, I have connected with three devices, actually, and this, it is their IP addresses for those devices. This is the first step of becoming a hacker, knowing the IP addresses of the devices that are connected in the internet that you are connected kind of crazy right okay you have seen nothing yet let's go deep inside it this is actually really good but what does this actually mean we'll cover it in a minute and i'll tell you what nmap is nmap is network mapper what this hyphen stands for sp and all that but actually let's find if this internet if this internet server is running any websites or something like that if there is any web servers in this internet and actually what you need right now as known that web servers are running in ports 80 and ports 443 mostly like google it is run on port 443 most of the time so if you want to see if this server has got web servers running if this internet server has got any web servers running you need to nmap yeah you need to nmap i'm gonna use that vocabulary you need to nmap that internet server in order to find any web servers running and here's the command you're going to use and actually i want you to write in the following commands type in sudo then nmap okay then i want you to type in s then small s then capital t then after that i want you to specify the ports to port 80 and comma port 443 you're going to scan for these two ports and after that i want you to paste your ip address or something like that and here it is when i press enter it will tell me sudo password actually okay starting nmap after here it will tell us 
Okay, here as you can see, it is the report that it has gotten. First of all, we got Nmap report for this IP address. All the ports, port 80 and port 443 are closed. Okay, this is actually great. And here you can get the other Nmap scan report for this IP, which tells us that the ports 80 and ports 443 are also closed. And the third, which is closed also this is actually http http and https the ones that you're using to access google crazy right if there are any open web servers on this internet it would have shown us like the state it is open opened or opened that's it i know most of you guys want to know how does this command actually work now this sudo has already known you are asking for privileges to run as root because this command can be run properly as root without doing sudo now this sudo is like please you are asking permission to become a root user for just one simple command and this nmap is the tool you're using this st this stands for tcp and this tcp is the full open port scan okay it is the full scan and this p you're specifying the ports in this ip address i think you all understand and what actually this tcp does it is called the three-way handshake and this is actually how nmap gets connection to this service and um what is actually happening here let's say this is your computer right over here and this is the server or the internet server that you want to access okay your computer will just say hey for example it is davidbambo.com actually a website and your computer will just say hey david bambo are you there in port maybe port 443 and that is called a scene syn and this davidbambo.com will return to your computer a scene arc S Y N A C K. A C K. Okay, I'll be writing the names on the screen. Now, if the David Bambo says, "Hey, I'm up and running. What do you want?" And this, your computer will tell DavidBambo.com, "Okay, if you're up, let's talk." And that's called the three-way handshake. Your computer talks to David Bambo. "Hey, you there?" David Bambo say, "Yeah, I'm here. What you need?" And your computer talks back to David Bambo. And that's what a TCP full scan or full conversation is. It just goes like that. And actually, this is kind of fishy and kind of suspicious because if there's a good IDS, IDS stands for Intrusion De Detection System, something like that. This is actually built in firewalls or something like that. If they get the three-way handshake, they say, okay, this might be compromised or something like that. So there's actually another way of doing this really cool, really amazing without getting code actually without being suspicious and here i'm going to tell you another command which you can use in order to escape being noticed by firewalls now right here what you're going to do you're going to write the same command as you written above instead of writing t for a full open scan this is actually a half open scan which you're going to write capital letter s and this capital letter s actually stands for stealthy it's actually like healthy but it is stealthy like this Thing that you're doing here it is stealthy and it is not easily compromised and when you press enter it over here actually most of you might be wondering what is the difference between this stealthy and the tcp what stealthy does it is doing the half open scan and what this does as i told you before your computer communicates with the website and tells him or and tells the website that hey are you open on port 443 or port 80 and the websites return the answer yeah i'm open what you need but instead of you completing the other instead of you completing the scan and saying hey i want this and this you just say okay i'm good nothing i don't care if you're open so you just hang up on the second scene arc instead of finishing and completing the whole loop by an arc actually so this is actually what is done here and the firewalls will be really hard to get the full open scan but make sure you keep this in mind some firewalls are updated and they are well good so you can get caught actually but this will actually reduce the chances of you getting caught with firewalls or ids which stands for intrusion detection system okay right now i've already told you that nmap can do a lot of things and actually if you want to see all that nmap can do you can just type in man nmap this man is actually like help and it will tell you what commands you need to use while using nmap crazy right okay actually when you press enter right over here i just want to show you one simple thing when you scroll down 
and you find OS detection. If you use Nmap with the hyphen O, it will tell you what operating system this OS stands for operating system. So it will detect the operating system to be used. And actually there is another thing called the dash a this dash a can do all of them at once it can enable the os detection version detection script scanning and also the trace route and actually if you're done looking at the main you can just type in q and quit so we can you can try running these commands for example using the dash o or the dash a now, after looking at the main nmap the commands that can be ran using using nmap and we found dash o dash a for us for os detection and other cool stuff now actually there is a good way apart from using the half open scan which is called the stealthy scan there is actually a good way of doing these nmap scans without getting noticed by the firewalls or the ids intrusion detection security and actually this is called using the decoys. The decoys is actually instead of you, one person, a single person to attack or to do a scan in a certain internet server, which is actually more likely easily to get caught because they just trace one IP address and, and they'll just know, okay, this host in our internet server is causing a lot of traffic. Now, instead of doing that, you are, you are just going to make a lot of IP addresses and which is called a decoy. And it can be like two or three Three people performing that scan and they just say okay there's a lot of traffic coming from all these hosts instead of saying there's a lot of traffic coming from this one host they'll say a lot of traffic coming from all these hosts and that will make it more difficult to get caught and actually how to make a decoy here is how to do it you are going to type in for sudo then you're going to write in nmap then you're going to write in a dash s then capital letter s so you're doing both at once you are doing the stealthy and you're also putting a decoy in this scan so that you can make it more harder and harder to get code because you're doing a half open scan and at the same time you're doing it as a lot of people say so they will be they will be hard to find you and until they come to get you you have already done whatever you're doing crazy right i know i've been talking a lot if you don't understand just go with the rhythm, please. Just watch the computer. Don't listen to me if you don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So right now, after you've written small s and capital letter s for stealthy, you're going to write capital letter D, which stands for decoy. And after that, I want you to type any random IP address. For example, you can just type in 10.7.1.80, okay? You can, and here you can paste in the internet server address, and here it is. So this is actually really great. You are going to do this scan as this IP right over here and at the same time as the IP of your own system. But you're going to do this thing under this internet server. Crazy, right? So, in, in, so if they check out where the traffic comes from, they'll find yours and they'll find these ones. So they just say, which one is which they'll start scanning by this one and they'll find out it is nothing at the time they reach to you you have already done what you want to do crazy right now i want you to press enter starting nmap okay it is done and actually if you don't specify the ports to scan for example in the previous we specified a port 40 we specified port 80 and port 443 for web servers and if you don't specify ports it will just scan all 1000 famous ports and those most regularly used ports and after they scan them they'll give you the full results actually you can see right over here all 1000 scanned ports on this internet server are in ignored states okay now this internet server doesn't have any ports open or something like that okay this 1000 closed tcp ports equals to reset whatever whatever time done it is called it is 1.27 seconds and it has found one host which it is up actually so the rest of the hosts may be there disconnected or something like that so right now i've already told you a lot i have told you how to make a decoy and pretend to be many people instead and pretend to be many people but the real thing is that you are one person 
crazy, right? I've told you about Stealthy doing a half open scan and a lot of more things. And now there is actually one last thing that I may like to show you. For example, if you go at the web page of this Nmap, in this category side, you can just scroll down and right here you can find vulnerabilities and I know you guys have been waiting for this part to come, the vulnerability part. Here you can find scripts and here are all the vulnerabilities that can be exploited using Nmap. Crazy, right? There's a lot of them. But you can just not go ahead and use every single one of these scripts or these vulnerability scripts on that target or else it might take forever and I'm lazy. I cannot do that. But instead, Nmap has given you one simple command and in one command, it can test all the scripts, all the vulnerabilities found on that website and it will tell you what vulnerabilities that web server has. Crazy, right? And super easy, super, you know, useful. Now, actually, when I close this and I go back to Nmap and I'm just going to write one simple thing, I'm going to write in sudo Nmap, then I'm going to write in s script. So this, I'm going to write dash dash script, this script, then you're going to write vulnerability. So actually what, what will be done right over here, these scripts will be used, but the scripts used are the ones with vulnerabilities. So it will find vulnerabilities and right here we are going to specify what internet server we are going to scan for these vulnerabilities. So you can just copy the internet server I just showed you. And right now when I press enter, it, you may see all the vulnerabilities available. And if there is no vulnerabilities, it will show nothing. It is starting Nmap and this might take a while. It depends if there is a lot of vulnerabilities, it may take up to three minutes or two minutes or something like that. So this while it is taking a while, okay, you can see. Scan report, there, 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 there's no vulnerabilities, there's nothing. So if there is actually vulnerabilities, it will show you all the vulnerabilities available, okay? Now, with that being said, so I think here's the end of the video. But one thing, guys, before you quit this video, I want you to comment down below what video do you want me to make next. And I'll do my best to listen to your comments and make every single video that you recommend. And actually, in my post tab, I'll be posting what video do you want. So you'll just be choosing and you'll just be making votes between maybe three or four videos that I put there. You'll make votes which one is the best and the one with a lot of votes. I'll make that video as the next followed with the one with less votes okay so that's all for today's video guys catch in the next one peace out